Back for part two of the damp PET filament. In the prior video, I had explained that I was keeping this filament out in my garage and I went to go print with it. And this is the, the junk that I was left with. Not good. So I had dried out the filament, put it overnight in a vacuum bag with desiccant, and then re-ran some calibration cubes. Let's see what it did now that the filament's dry. I'll bet this is a whole lot better. For comparison, this is what that dragon looked like before I dried the filament. And I have removed the supports on here, but you can still see a lot of the stringing. This is the calibration cube that I had done. And I think you can see it here where the, the surface of it is real rough. You see a lot of zits and such on it. But I've dried the filament um, overnight, vacuum bagged it with some desiccant as well. And I rerun that calibration cube. I can see that it's already better, but let's get it off the build plate, take a closer look. Here we have a much better look at these. This one here on the left was done before I had dried the filament out. And again, you can see that rough surface. This one here on the right is done after drying. And there's a significant difference here. So I think what I'm gonna do now is rerun that dragon. This little guy here and let's see if we get some better results. All righty, our test print is done and that does look quite a bit better. Yeah, there's still a little bit of stringing. Um, I should probably expect that with the PET and for comparison, there's our first print. Now this one still has the supports on it so let me pull those off and we'll compare them side by side. Yeah, I'd say there's a pretty vast improvement. Again, this was the original one when the filament was all damp, you know, prior to me drying it. And this one here is after drying it, the supports came right off of it. And if I hit those little strings with a torch, they'll disappear. So I think going forward, I'm gonna be packing all of my PET filament in vacuum bags with a desiccant sure can hurt.